I'm Becky. No, I'm not Becky. That's not, she's Becky. I'm Chris. <laughs> We're going to show you how to use the essential sound panel in Adobe Premiere Pro. <laughs> Let's dive into the essential sound panel and talk about how we can improve our audio for our video. So the first thing we want to start with is assigning audio types to our tracks. So Premiere Pro knows what is what, and this will come in handy later when we start talking about ducking our music track. So in this edit, you can see we have a dialogue track, which is the blue track, a music track, which is the green track, and a sound effects track, which is the yellow track. Let's play it back and see how it sounds. We waited a couple hours and the weather cleared. So we departed. Okay, so obviously the tracks need to be adjusted. So what we're gonna do is select the dialogue track, which is the blue track here, and then we're gonna come over to Essential Sound and we are going to hit Dialogue. If this panel isn't here on your computer, you can find it up under Window and then come down to Essential Sound. Okay, next we're gonna select the music track, which is the green track, and we're gonna assign that as Music. And then we're gonna come down here and select the yellow track, which is our sound effects, and assign that as sound effects. Let's go back to our dialogue track and adjust this one first to make sure that the talking portion of the video is set to the correct levels. So I'm gonna come over here and solo the dialogue track. And next, I'm gonna select all of the dialogue tracks in the timeline. And then I'm gonna come over to the essential sound panel and I'm gonna hit auto match. This will automatically adjust the clip levels of each clip to make sure they all sound uniform. All right, let's play that back and see how that sounds. We waited a couple hours and the weather cleared, so we departed. Next, you can make any corrections to your audio track you feel are necessary by going down through the panel. So both my audio tracks are selected here. Let's open up the Repair tab. Premiere Pro gives you options to reduce noise, rumble, and de-hum your track. For example, there is a little bit of noise in the background of this clip. So we can turn on Reduce Noise, and we can move the slider back and forth to adjust the intensity of the correction. So we departed. We flew north along the coast of the St. Lawrence River. Basically, just tried to make our way up. So you can see as we make the correction more extreme, it sounds worse. Sometimes it's best to start with smaller adjustments and work your way up. We've removed a little bit of that background noise. If you have any harsh S sounds in your dialogue, you can use the de to tone that down as well. Reduce reverb from recordings. Sometimes this works if you have a little bit of an echo in the room. It's not going to remove the echo, but it might help tone down the reverb of the audio. Moving down to clarity, the dynamic slider here, you can use this to focus in your dialogue. So as we slide this slider to the right, it adds more compression to our audio. And if we slide our slider to the left, it reduces the amount of compression added. So these sliders do a pretty good job of adjusting the clip overall, but if you wanna make more custom adjustments, you can select each clip, come up here to the effect controls, scroll down, and you can see all of the adjustments that were added to the audio clip. And if you click on the edit button, a window will pop up allowing you to make more complex and finer adjustments. But this is a little more advanced, so we're gonna close this and go back to the essential sound panel. So we've already tagged our music track as music. Let's go ahead and select it. Again, it's the green one. And we're gonna come over to our essential sound panel and we're gonna hit auto match. So you can see that the waveform actually got smaller on the music track there, which means that Premiere Pro lowered the levels of the music. So let's play that back and see how that sounds. We waited a couple hours and the weather cleared. So we departed. So we could take this a step further by ducking the audio or lowering a select portion of the audio. And Premiere Pro can do this automatically. So if we hit generate keyframes, she's done. So let's play that back right where it ramped up and, and see what the effect is. We make our way up the coast of Quebec. Okay, that sounds much better. You can also adjust your sound effects by lowering the level so that it complements the video. So let's play this whole edit back and see how it sounds in its final form. We waited a couple hours and the weather cleared, so we departed. We flew north along the coast of the St. Lawrence River. Basically just tried to make our way up the coast of Quebec. All right, so those are the basics of the Essential Sound Panel. Check out our next video. We're gonna show you guys some of our favorite keyboard commands to make you faster and more efficient.